Hello everyone, welcome to my video. So this is um, part two from the last time I do automation with GitHub. So last time we'd be able to use um, Friday to create the repository in GitHub. But so for today we're going to do something we're going to do with slugs. So basically what we'll do is something like this. It's here I will do Java. This is my original so I do check slugs so basically this will it will show you the latest message in the slack in the specific channel let's see here is my channel is c4k developer so the new message is zero so we'll be able to do fetch the last message and display right here all right this is what we're going to do so I don't know that you find it useful to do it or not but I think it's really cool to do so all right so let's do it so here i'm using vs code so you can use whatever you want the only the requirement that we need is the slack token this is the token from the github which we don't need so the slack token here um, you can get it from the uh, uh, slack api you can create it in the slack bot or just get a token it's for it's completely free just use it in your slack all right, so let's get started. So here I'm create a new message. So I'm saying get let's say slacks. js. So this is. So if maybe some of you wonder what is the part one, you can go to and check it. I do automation like using Node.js and shell script to do create repository from our terminal. All right. So let's. Let's get started. So we have to install some dependency. First one that we need is the Slack API. So uh, let's real quick. Um, sl uh, oops, Slack hashtags web API. Oh no, hashtag. All right. So then we will need this one. We also work with some database as well. We use lightweight um, net net DB. So it's it's really easy to use so after that we need um, I already install alright so npm install netb dash async I'm using the async netb so you can just use just netb on if, if you prefer non async so it's just easy to use so alright and one more I need chucks so just for the color to display right here you can see the green color right here all right so let's get started hmm so in here I'm going to require um, dot env dot config so then we can get the environment variable right here which I store my tokens right here so uh, then we need to connect to slack so uh, the so then I do web client equal to require at slack API. All right, great. So now I'll be able to do web client. All right, I'm changing this one. So I'm actually going to call it web, so maybe don't get confused. So equal new web client process. So here we need to token. Uh, the token, the, I'm actually call it Slack's token. Alright, Slack token. Yeah, not from this. Yeah, Slack token. Alright, great. So now we need to get the, t uh, connect with to the, uh, get the latest message in our Slack. So in here, for the testing, I'm gonna use this channel. I'm just created. I'm going to take the ID, which is right here. I'm gonna fetch the latest message here. I guess like hi everyone. So then I will get this last message from this channel. So to do that, I need to get this uh, ID from this one. All right, let me test it real quick. Oh, the ID from here. So then I'm gonna grab that ID, copy it, and then actually do. All right, I'm gonna create async functions. I'm call it function get last message All right so then I'm gonna create a message equal to await 
and then we do the web which dot conversation dot history and then we do the channels this is our channel ID that we and then we do just limit one so in here you can the limit one here it mean I'm getting just only um, just one message from the slack from the latest message I'm just need to get the uh, latest message which is high right here if I get hello from here then I would just get the latest hello right here if you want to get more than that you can yeah just get more from this one I'm just getting the let message as well so then I'm going to create the data that going to store this one so because we need to store this one inside the uh, database oh first before doing so I'm just um, let's see uh, console that locked the uh, message first so msg right here so then I'm gonna call the functions alright I'm gonna close it a little bit so call function let's message alright great so now I'm going to run the node slack.js I'm gonna bring this up node slack.js alright Mm hmm what is going on I think ah because I spelled slack wrong right here all right great so now like doing it again all right because you can see right here we get the latest message which say hello if I type again what are you doing so now you can see here what are you doing and then I'm going to run Again, I will get what are you doing right here so then what I need is to save the timestamp of this message into the database so then I'm gonna create the variable data that equal to I'm gonna say text equal to message dot messages index zero dot um, let's see text right here so we go to message we go to the text yeah I need the text and also the timestamp of it as well tag this is the timestamp we go to msg that message zeros dot ts so now I'm gonna store that it's a global later I will use it so that a purple so now we can get this data and then we're gonna save it into the database so in that I need to bring the database actually here I'm gonna oops right sorry I'm gonna slack this one and then let actually do DB so in DB what I need cons DB equal to require net a thing and also I'm create let db equal to new db and then I'm gonna do the file name is equal to boom. So I'm gonna store data base last last um, message dot db great so then I do auto reload through off on. So now we already connected it so make it uh, when then we're gonna save and create a folder name from here. Alright great so next what we're gonna do is to save this get the, this data in here into the database. So then in here I'm gonna create another async functions which called save to DP here so in here I'm gonna call a wait to get the latest message from here so then I will use the global message right here if you're going to return and store this data and return it to the function it's not going to work because it's async so what we will do is to get the data and then store in here and then global so in here I'm gonna call a wait here and then it will run this function and then it will push and will assign this data into the data global here 
So then I will be able to use this data. So now I'm gonna check in the docs. Uh, I'm gonna create another variable, a global variable, this one as well. Um, okay, the docs, which uh, I'm, I'm gonna put it as a global variable. So later on you will see I'm gonna use this one as well. All right, equal to, now I'm gonna read the data from the database. Await, which is now is empty. That's why we want to read it first. So a things. Oops, I think I'm. Sp All right, a thing string. All right, wait. Uh, await db dot a things. Um, what a thing? Fine. Yep. Just a thing. Fine. So I'm gonna find everything from the database. I'm gonna check if it uh, has something or not. If the docs dot length right here equal to zero, if I mean it's there's nothing in the, inside the database, what we will do is to db insert. Uh huh. Why it's a sheet auto complete? So Right, anyway, so now insert the data. So we're going to insert this data that we have right here into the database. If it's empty, else. If it's not empty, I'm gonna check if the docs index zero dot ts. So I mean, all right, so let's first let's actually do it first. So then, so now we don't have the database, the, the uh, db is empty. So let's actually call save to db. And then what we're gonna do is to run slack again. I see that's a problem. Yeah, because I type new db right here. Ah, oh, I see, because I need to put the default right here. Great. Right here. The default into all right. So for now, if I type run again, it will show nothing. It I mean it's saved to the database. You can see the database, and then we get the latest message. What are you doing? And then store inside the database. So that's it. So now we can save it to the database. Great. All right. Great. So here's so how it work is that first we check if it's empty. The doc is empty. So then we check read it from the docs and then if the doc is empty we gonna insert the data into the database right so for now if the doc is not empty how we do it so if the doc is not empty we are gonna check if the docs um, that is not empty and then if we check if the latest message data.ts right here is not equal so basically it mean right here if there is a new message in the last message and then we check if it in the database it's the same or not if it's the same then we will we'll, then we're not doing anything because it's the same if it's not the same we're going to update another database so in here we're gonna do update our docs index zero and then with our data all right so here we have what are you doing so then we get the latest message from and then save the data and then we check if it's not the same then we're gonna update it. All right, so for now, then I go to Slacks and I do, hello. All right, so if I run this one, you can see hello right here. So now we can get the latest message right here. If I run again, so then we can see that there's new message, so it's not update anything. So now we can be able to uh, get the latest message so alright so now we need to count the new message let's say right now you get the latest message and you're not in the slack and there's a lot of message right here you see from the hello and then hi how are you or something like that so so then we need to count how many new message is there so we need to count those message all right, great. So how we do it is to. Uh, 
Alright, so then we do a things functions new message. Alright, great. So then I'm gonna call await get slack message and then await save it to the DB. I'm save it all in one and then I'm gonna check the docs. Uh, if the docs dot length not equal to zero, not equal to zero, then I'm gonna equal to new message, new msg equal to await web dot conversation dot history, and then what we will do is to oh, actually here's right here but I do this channel so now with channel ID this one so it's your channel ID oops all right so then we need to limit so this is what you can count this a hundred or whatever you want I just put it a hundred so you can maybe a thousand or whatever you want so I'm do the oldest so then it's a timestamp so the docs index zero dot ts all right great so right here the timestamp right here the last message so we need to count from that last message until over uh, from the last message all right great so now and then what i need to do is to call to let uh message blank i want to count how many new message i create a new message that's message just dot length I need to check it if it's bigger than a hundred then I'm going oh first let actually console dot locks um, new message all right so now if we do new message like here I right, great so now we have how are you wait yeah so then last time we have hello so then the hello is start from here so then one two three four and five so then if I run again so all right let's actually do this I'm going to console.log dot message dot length so then if I do it I will get the length of the new message. How many new message? It's actually six. So now, yeah, it's six. And the latest message is how are you? It's update for me as well. So it's how are you right here. And then, if I run again, then there will be no new message. So it should be zero new message. If I go here and type hello, hi. So then, I will get two new message all right yeah there's two new message so in here there's limited zero so uh, uh, limit is a hundred so then I'm going to do let the message length GTA equal to all right I'm gonna call new message dot messages dot length if it's uh, bigger than a hundred, so I mean like there's a lot of new message, we're gonna display a hundred plus. <laughs> Alright, great, so then we're gonna do a message dot message L, we do the message length, we just get that length. And then alright, so huh. then I'm going to console dot log here so uh, all right so then I'm gonna use chucks for the green color as you can see right here if you get the green color I need to use uh, chuck so I do chucks so then can chucks equal to requirements require chuck sorry not requirement all right great so now I do the chucks dot white the color is white dot bg green dot 
bowl and then the, your channel so my channel is I call it YouTube right here yeah. all right so and then plus you can use the back tick but yeah anyway okay I can use new messages so then I put this one right here all right here I'm actually go to the back tick it's easy for me great so then I'm gonna put the MSG length great so all right so let's test it so I'm gonna type hello hi how are you so then it was three then if I run here then it will get here you can see YouTube new message three great all right so Right, so then what will hmm I think that's pretty much it, right? So if I run it again Alright, it's zero. Great. So now we're done. Uh-huh. So if I do hello Hi what what so it's a, it should be three, right? then three great right here so then if I'm not in the slacks or something maybe yeah <laughs> whatever so I'm just right here so all right first let actually do that, that we could if the let imagine if the data in the database is zero so what we can do in here we can let's say console logs because for the first time when we run for the first time so you can see right here I can uh, like add the data to DP for the first times all right console.log right, please run again uh, e e -A -S -A, format Let's run again to see new messages. Great. So now let's see if I'm run for the first time. Which actually, I'm gonna delete this one. Maybe it's no database or anything. This is your first setup. This is your first time connected to your um, to your um, channel. So you will run something like this. So then I'm going to run this one. Then you can see, okay, add the database for the first time. Please run again to get a new message. If I run again. All right, it's wait. All right, so you can see YouTube channel, new message is zero. But if I go here and type hi, hi, two time. So it should be two time, right? Then I will run this one. Two time. All right, two. Great. So now I need to set it up to Friday so then I can be able to use something like this. Then I can do like Java's check slugs and then to get the latest message, that one. All right, great. So in order to do that, I need to go to my shell scripts right here. Where are you, Friday? All right, great. Here, this is my Friday. <laughs> I need to check L if like right here I'm actually call it slack right here it's shorter slack and then and then I'm going to run a note I'm actually going to copy and paste this one copy this then I'm not going to take this one what we will need to render is just slack.js before doing so we need to create uh, put the process dot sure the name right here so then we can be able to run this one anywhere so now we can use when we run the Friday slack then we can execute this one then it will execute our YouTube channel let's show all right let me show you first I'm rename this one to just Friday then I need to copy this one like last time in the first video we need to pass this one to the user bin so first I need to remove it all right user 
opened then last Friday. Great, I need to type the password. Aha, uh -huh. oh F, oh no, oh F. Great, so now I need to copy it, sudo cp friday us or bind great sudo cp no such file cannot create sudo wait what happened yeah you ah USO bin. Alright, great. So now I can use my Friday, like the Java, to check the Slack. So if I do Friday Slack. Oh, great. What did I do? Oh, and here space. Oh, and actually do this is one as well. Then I need to remove it again. Oh my god. Then I need to copy it again. Alright, great. So now that's it. I think Friday Slack. Let's check my Slack. Come on. Alright, so there's new message is zero. If I'm then I go to like hi how are you? What hey so then alright first I'm gonna close everything. I'm gonna close just alright, so this is my record. Oops, nope, I'm not gonna close it. Just keep it there. Alright, so now I'm doing Friday Slack. So then it will show you how many how many new message that you will get why it takes so long all right demand on the internet all right we get five message so all right i think that's it uh all right that's it all right thank you for watching